Hi, I'm reading an email from Jay Papazan that I re recently received. He's an author who's written a few real estate books with Gary Keller and has a lot of insight into the real estate and business world. A lot of talk about ADHD centers on its disadvantages. Let's flip the conversation. I like to think of ADHD as a different ability instead of a disability. There's no shortage of super achievers who are believed to have ADHD. From Einstein to Edison and Da Vinci and Disney, individuals with ADHD have transformed our world. ADHD is also prevalent among many successful entrepreneurs. Maybe that includes you. Here's the truth. Everyone with a superpower has an equally large gap in their game. The ones who rise up, focus their work around their special abilities and surround themselves with a team that covers their gaps. Maybe the same principle applies to so-called disabilities. Every gap comes with a unique ability. You just need to tap into it. Edward Howen points out in his book, ADHD2, ADHD it helps to think as ADHD is a complex set of contradictory or paradoxical tendencies, a lack of focus combined with the ability to super focus, a lack of directions combined with a highly directed entrepreneurialism, a tendency to procrastinate combined with a knack of getting a week's work of work done in two hours, impulsive wrong-headed decision-making combined with inventive, out of the blue, problem solving, interpersonal cluedness combined with an uncanny intuition and empathy. The list goes on and on. I recently interviewed an entrepreneur who had been diagnosed with ADHD. He shared that his ability to focus was just 6% of the average. Then how has he been successful for so long? The one thing is my Adderall, he declared. By building some simple habits, he was amplifying his ADHD superpowers and curbing its disadvantages. His number one was a simple act of identifying his one thing daily and time blocking it. What's my one thing today? When you know what's really important and why even with mundane tasks can take on the new importance, how much can I do in the next hour? The time blocks allowed him to focus on the daily sprint like a kind of a gamification. I love this hack. A hack is a thing you can do to trick yourself into doing the things you need to do. It's a simple model for action. As we wrote in the shift book, having a disadvantage can actually be an advantage. When you're below average at something important, you are more motivated to find and adopt a model. And by following the model, you often leapfrog average performers who wing it with their natural abilities. One question I ponder in your thinking time, how can I harness the advantages into my, disadvan into my disadvantages? Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Jackson with Keller Williams Capital Partners. If you'd like to get this email in your inbox every week, email me at rjo at kw.com, rjo at kw.com, and I'll provide you a link. Thanks for watching. Have a super fantastic day.